Um, so we're going to build on what we did in Bourne Harbor, not Bourne Harbor, when we did um, HES cycles at AS Chemistry. But we're going to do a far more complicated HES cycle than we've done before. And it's called the Bourne Harbor cycle. Before we can do that, we need to look at some new definitions that we're going to do. So let's look at some definitions that you should know. So the standard entropy of formation, what's that for? Standard entropy of formation, yeah. It's uh, the entropy change when one mole of a uh, substance is formed from its given constituents. From its constituents. And so, so for formation, if I was having to make methane, CH4, which in its standard state is a gas, what would I have to start off with? You start off with carbon as a solid and H2. H2 gas, and how many? I need two of those. And I can't change that number because it's got to be one mole of substance formed. Okay, that's good. Um, how about first ionization energy? That is when we take the one mole of gaseous atoms, so let's do calcium. In the gaseous state, I will be making calcium plus in the gaseous state, plus one electron. And then I'd have the second ionisation energy, which would be making the doubly charged iron. So calcium plus becoming calcium two plus gas plus an electron, like so. So those are the ionisation energies you need to do. So those ones we should be happy with. So we're going to talk about two, well, a couple of new ones now. Um, the first one, we've talked about ionisation energy. That's removing electrons. We can obviously add electrons to atoms as well, and that's called electron affinity. So the definition of electron affinity is when one electron is added to each atom in a mole of gaseous atoms. So the electron affinity for chlorine will be taking one mole of gases chlorine atoms, adding one electron to it to form Cl minus gas. And obviously that would be the first, the second would be adding another electron. So if we had to do it for oxygen, so e.g. for oxygen, the first one would be O gas plus an electron to become O minus gas. And the second one would be O minus gas plus an electron to become O two minus gas. So you need to have both of them for oxygen because obviously oxygen has two electrons formed. Um, so that is ionised um, electron affinity. Um, you also need to know the standard entropy change of atomization. Atomization is formation of one mole of atoms in the gaseous state. So, atomization of chlorine, what would I need to do? You have to split the Cl2s up into those Cs. Yeah, cool. So, I need to form one mole of gaseous chlorine atoms. So, in order to do that, I have to start with. A half Cl2. For sodium, it would be, sorry, that would be in the gaseous state. For sodium, it would be sodium solid becoming sodium gas and so on. So you've always got to form one mole of gaseous atoms and that's atomization. Okay. Cl would be like a free radical. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Um, and the only other one you need to know at this stage is lattice entropy, and we're going to do the definition and then we're going to look at how we calculate it. So, the lattice entropy is for the um, formation of an ionic compound from the gaseous ions. So, um, lattice entropy, I need to form one mole of an ionic compound. So let's do sodium chloride as a solid. The lattice entropy for that, I need to start with what ions are in sodium chloride. Na plus Cl minus. Yeah, Na plus Cl minus. Oops. And they both have to be in the gaseous state. Like 
so. And that is always a massively exothermic reaction because you imagine I've got two gaseous ions coming together and the amount of energy produced gives you a measure of how strong my ionic bond is between those ions. Right.